Hi everybody, welcome back to Raw Synergy TV. So a lot of you are asking me about how to curb cravings on the raw food diet. And one of the things that I noticed when I first went raw, I had a realization, and maybe a lot of you have had this realization too, about how everything revolves around food. Every party you go to, every get-together with friends, whether it's to go out to dinner at a restaurant or to a bar, work functions, family get-togethers, holidays, it's all about the food and cooked food and fatty cooked food, foods that aren't good for us. And so it can be really tempting and very frustrating when you're first starting out being faced with all these cooked foods everywhere you go. And I want to share with you how I deal with my cravings and how I think about cooked foods. One of the things is I think about how much raw foods has changed my life for the better and how good I feel. So many of the issues that I had before when I was eating with cooked food vanished after going raw. And I just cannot imagine going back to cooked foods and having migraines, PMS, cramps, emotional upsets, depression, all kinds of problems that I, all the problems that I had from cooked food, I can't imagine going back to that. So that's one of the first things that comes to mind when I'm faced with cooked food. I think about the massive discomfort that I was in before and how I just don't want to go back to that. I don't want to go back to cooked foods and the problems that I had eating it. The digestive issues alone prevent me from taking one bite of cooked food. And so that's one way of thinking about it. Think about all of the benefits that you're going to reap from eating raw foods and for those of you who have been on raw foods for a while and have experienced dramatic changes think about how all of that will change one bite of cooked food can just turn you back to eating cooked foods again because it can be very difficult once you take a bite of cooked food it leads to another bite and another bite and pretty soon you think tomorrow you have another bite of cooked food thinking, well, yesterday I had cooked food, so one bite of cooked food won't hurt today, but then it does because it just keeps leading you into more and more temptations of eating the cooked food. So that's one thing. Another thing is the emotional aspect of eating and how eating cooked foods tends to numb us. It, it tends to prevent us from feeling our feelings. And that's one of the reasons why raw food is so great because it heightens everything. It heightens all the, the, good, the feeling good and it heightens our ability to deal with things with ease and comfort. And eating cooked foods tends to numb us and prevent us from feeling our feelings. And it's so heavy, cooked foods are so heavy that they just kind of make us comatose in a way. It just sort of puts us out of our misery temporarily. But re in reality, it's just doing us more harm. And eating f cooked foods just, they're so dense and prevent you from dealing with reality. So you want to eat raw foods because raw foods make you feel alive and they make you feel so capable. You become really capable of handling life's issues. You become so centered and calm and balanced. For me, personally, I used to have a lot of emotional upsets. Little things used to bother me that were so insignificant and I used to feel like crying over little things all the time and it just used to bother me so much and now I don't have that. Eating raw foods has helped me to stay so balanced and so even that when difficult situations arise and life faces me with a problem, 
I just handle it with ease and comfort and things don't bother me like they used to. So that's another thing about eating cooked foods and the their ability to numb us. I don't want to be numbed. I want to be I want to be alive. I want to be in the here and now. I want to be able to handle situations as they come up and get past them right away. I don't want to wallow in it. I don't want to sit in misery and fill my face with foods that are going to destroy my health. And so that's another way of looking at it. I kind of tend to think of cooked foods as as foods that have been that I've seen somebody poison. Yes, it looks good and it smells really good, but I know that somebody has tainted it with poison and I know what eating that would do to me. And then that's the same thing. I think about that poison is the the symptoms and the problems that came from eating cooked food before. That's how I think of eating cooked food. And I just know that the moment I start eating cooked foods again, that all the problems that I had with them before are going to come right back. And I don't want that. So a good way to avoid having cravings is to eat plenty of sweet, juicy fruits. Eat lots of carbohydrates. you got to get those fruits in so that you're satisfied. Eat a delicious meal of fruit and greens and you, your taste buds are so satisfied from the sweetness of the fruit and the carbohydrates fill you up and you can walk away from the table without feeling hungry without feeling like you need something else to eat and you'll just feel really good you'll feel so balanced and healthy and you will be healthy so make sure that you eat lots and lots of carbohydrates from sweet juicy fruits and your cravings will be history you won't have cravings for cooked foods because you'll be satisfied and that's a really important aspect of the low fat raw vegan diet you got to eat plenty of carbs from fruits and you will be satisfied you will feel great and when you're tempted with cooked foods because we're all going to be tempted with cooked foods every now and then just think about the benefits of raw eating raw foods and what they'll how good they are for you and what they do for your body I really want to help you guys stay raw I want you guys to thrive I want you to feel alive and energized I want you to be healthy so I hope that this video helps you to stay raw and that you're I hope that you're feeling great and doing well